Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I brought you here to show you this. Now, this is a Polar Pro case. And as you can see, they're a very strong and sturdy case. Um, I, the edges are so firm and hard. And this bit round the lens is is very firm and hard too. Now, this particular case is built for my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And we just slide it in there. That's that in the case. Right, so the first thing I wanted to show you was this lens here. If I can find it. Ha, ah, there it is. Now, this is the main lens, and I successfully just, um, just put a thread in that, so this lens would screw in. like so that is my Lamaro 133 anamorphic lens which screws into that lens now that works very well and fits it onto this case and then you can add filters because I've used a moment 62mm lens adapter on it and then this takes lenses from there on in and I'll show you that with some other lenses I've got. So we'll unscrew this, it's quite tight, now we'll show you this, these are Polar Pro filters that I also bought, I bought all this stuff second hand off eBay and in here I have some circular polar, polarizers and also I have some ND filters as well so I've got MD8 and 16 I bought them all off eBay so here we are we'll unpop this and we take the filter out now this is an interesting way these filters fit on. They fit on with a twist and turn. But they are 
not that easy that's it it's on and then that is the circular polar pro polarizer that also fits on it as you can see here Right, so, the next one I want to show you is the small rig animal fit lens. Now, the small, oh, first of all, we go on to the grip. So, this here, it comes with a grip. And I'll just put that on. Oop. That's it, it's on. Right, so then I've got a nice grip and I've got also cold shoe on the top for taking lights or light etc etc and also I have this handle which screws into the bottom and you can use it like this as well which comes in handy I can assure you it's a very handy thing so that's that i'll just unscrew that handle off there and we'll put on the small rig adapter let's just take that off there and we'll screw push that on like that We'll line it up over the lens, tighten that up, and push that in there. And then push that in there. That lines up with that. And then it will take my tipping filter my tiffing variable ND which is 62 mil if I can get it to screw on come on baby things never work out when you're recording that's it I think I don't want to cross thread anything that's it that's on there and then from there 
if I want to put a next, not that one, I've got so much stuff here, I don't know which way to look. <laughs> um, there's these two as well. I use the diffusion filters as well, and you can see them next here. And also, I use this to go on. That goes on through the adapter. That adapter there. And then that goes on to there and screws on there. And then that's a tiffin ND. Or I would use the diffusion filters especially for this that I've got and see where they are now I've got that one there there's another diff ah, there's the other diffusion filter there so I would use a diffusion filter and build take the tipping off and put the diffusion filter on and then that neutral density after that that is a Nissi neutral density and of course with this setup there's a Bluetooth trigger for firing it off with which is very handy um, you can fire it off and start the video going with the touch of your finger right at your fingertips it's a lovely case and it it's multiple adaptable again to my iPhone 11 Pro Plus so it's very handy so that's about all I wanted to show you really ladies and gentlemen there's all my stuff there. Um, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to show you. Um, you can see it all here running after this. I'll see you later, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day. Bye.